Hi guys, Ben here from 100 Nman, and in today's podcast I want to talk about how to get the edge. Now, getting the edge is something that has inspired and interests me not only in fitness but predominantly in the business world for many, many years. I have spent hundreds of hours researching and looking at my competitors in the business field only to discover one thing. And that one thing was to design and build based on self. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, getting the edge is something that can be perceived as something negative. Getting the edge over what exactly? Is it getting the edge over the the time, the speed, the agility? Now, of course, I'm talking in fitness sense. In a business sense, it can generally mean taking either the market share, expansion growth, profit and loss, or any of the other aspects, which is generally based around financial accomplishments and goals. For me, getting the edge is an internal thing, not an external thing. It has nothing to do with the type of car you drive, how many bedrooms or en suites your house has, but about how you can get the edge within, how you can maximize the output based on the thought processes happening inside and the conversations that you're having with yourself. See, life isn't a race. It's a slow, drawn-out endurance journey. And there's no point getting beaten up at this stage or within just a few weeks when there's many, many more miles to travel. And that can be the temptation when seeking out and looking to get the edge over others in the business world. I remember one day coming to the realization that things needed to change for me when sitting working within my estate agency business, which I consequently sold during 2008. I spent many hours per week looking at what the other agents were doing, that I failed to understand the benefits in utilizing that time to branch out and expand my good message. I became frustrated, angry and upset when vendors or property owners decided to go with another agent that I then began to tout that business and look to win over that business for the second time. Reflecting back, I now know that that time would have been better spent not trying to get the edge over the other business or trying to win back business that I'd lost already, but to look after and nurture the business I already had, to look after those vendors that were and already had installed their trust in me. You can utilize that same kind of thought process with self rather than looking outside of the body at external factors which may provide an element of speed, agility, endurance, capacity, all of those other things. I think the biggest changes and the biggest impacts can be made simply by looking after self, being self, being present in the moment and looking at what you can do to get the edge internally. And then once you've maximized those resources and focused 100% of the effort on self or what's going on within yourself, not only in the fitness world, but in the overall well-being of self. Now I say self because I'm talking about the physical body in which we are, but it actually extends beyond us and the energy and the field around us. So if you're looking to get the edge over your competitor, avoid the temptation to seek out what they're doing. Start to bring in that focus to self. Utilize your body, understand your body and understand what's going on within before looking at factors outside of your control. So that's it for me. Remember to stay tuned, subscribe and be safe. Peace out.